Hi, I hope you can hear me. I'm going to show you some of the things you can do with your trunk to potentially affect your internal organs. This first one is to expand my chest like I'm inhaling to the chest, which creates a negative pressure and can pull the uh, internal organs upwards and relieve things like prolapse. see my abdomen was completely relaxed and I was lifting the internal organs the whole abdominal cavity with my chest expansion that's my firm abdomen it's very hard to pinch the skin but when I relax it I can also massage it with my hands and push my fingers deep inside and massage my internal organs with my hands which is something I could also do by pressing on my whole body this is pressing my whole body against my elbow and as I press my whole body against my elbow like this now I'm relaxing my abdomen and the whole weight of my body is going against my abdomen and I'm breathing naturally into my abdominal cavity using my diaphragm same thing I can do with my hands, I can do with my abdomen, with my uh, elbow, and I can even do it with someone standing on top of me. Now, I can do the same thing and activate the muscles of forced abdominal exhalation, which are my external oblique muscles, and I'll show them next. So this is the muscles of forced abdominal exhalation. I blow out all the air, hold the breath out, keep my breath out, expand my chest without breathing. You'll see my abdomen is relaxed, I'll pull it, you can see it. Then I'm going to tighten my abdomen like forcefully exhaling to the abdomen using my external oblique and internal oblique muscles. You will see my external oblique. Now I'm going to activate my rectus abdominis while holding my breath out and expanding my chest without breathing. And this can not only expand the chest first, which will reduce the pressure here, but will also cause a negative pressure to be around here. And uh, studies in the 1920s with barium enemas and x-ray analysis showed that the negative pressure that was created is much greater than just expanding the chest alone. And you can actually if you have the control and you open your anal sphincter or you use a tube, a metal tube or plastic tube to open the, uh, to open the anal sphincter, you can pull water up into your uh, colon and give yourself a colonic irrigation. It can save a fortune in caloric, caloric irrigations. Good to know. And now I'll do a process called Nauli, where I rotate the um, right and left rectus abdomini with both of them together and the muscles of forced abdominal exhalation. And this gives a churning-like effect which massages the internal organs going from the large intestine base of the appendix right down to the rectum. Large intestine ascending, transverse descending, and I massage in this right to left direction. And I'll just adjust the camera a bit better.
And this same effect you can get while breathing. So I get a similar effect. I can get a similar effect while breathing. And this similar effect done while breathing looks something like this. So I first I do a roll up and down like this. This is engaging lower abdomen then upper abdomen. Like this. Lower abdomen, middle, upper, lower out, upper out, lower in, upper in, lower out, upper out. And this is an inhale to my lower back, upper back, chest, abdomen, and exhale, lower abdomen, lower back, upper back, then the chest, abdomen. So I click, meaning breathe in. I double click, meaning breathe out. First click, breathe into the back. Second click, breathe into the front. First double click, breathe out from the lower abdomen up the back. And then second double click, breathe out from the chest to the abdomen. And then doing a similar breathing, I'll actually rotate, twisting left to right, and then right to left with a forward and backward bend. And I can do this whether I'm talking or not. And now I hold my breath in and pretend to breathe out. This is a Valsalve maneuver. And all of this makes you feel very good unless you blow up your brain at the same time.